Like, can life get any more stressful right now? Dead motherfucking dead. everybody doing I hope you're doing well please find me on any of these social media platforms and follow me especially firework it's brand new you might like it it's kind of like vine and musically mixed together cool so guys today is a story about my dad and I have done stories about my dad's temper and his wanting to fight everyone <laughs> I've done videos about that before about how he will straight up probably murder you if you fuck with me and that's probably where I get probably what am I why am I even saying that this is where I get my temper from okay so here's a story about my dad and his temper I've told the story about how my mom fought alcoholism for about 10 years and we ended up doing an intervention and put her in detox and then she had to go to rehab while she was in rehab my dad and I and my sister came up with the idea that we thought it would be a good thing for her to have a dog when she got home now I know that sounds like it might have been really really overwhelming for someone who had gone into rehab and then they come home they're not allowed to drink now they got a dog to take care of but let me explain I have dogs I've always had a German Shepherd but about 10 years ago I got buns and buns is a chihuahua mix we're not really sure what buns is but my mom loves buns and buns loves my mom so it's like a match made in heaven whenever me and my ex-husband would have to go somewhere or maybe have to work late or whatever then we would take buns to mom's house and mom was just always really happy when buns was over there it got to the point that mom would call me and be like can I have buns for the weekend or can buns just come over tonight and we would say yeah fine that's cool and so we thought it would be really like a gift to her and maybe something else for her to focus on because it's really hard when you've been drinking like that for years and years and years and you go to rehab and then you come home and you can't drink and you know she works mainly from home just like I do we just figured it would be a nice distraction so I find a breeder and let me just tell you this was no small feat trying to talk my dad into this and he goes back and forth he's so indecisive and finally I'm like okay I found a dog let's you know we're gonna go on this day it was about two hours away so meet me at my house and we'll go and then he gets over here and he's like I don't know I've been thinking but I'm like get in the car just get in the car so we get in the car and we drive and where we were going was like pretty much in the middle of nowhere just like God's country okay so we drove for about two hours and it was just a stressful trip I remember that mom called us while we were driving and I couldn't tell her like where we were going when you call from rehab you're on a payphone and everybody is trying to use a phone at the same time it was basically I think maybe only a day or two after we took her there and she was not a happy camper so she was like fussing at me on the phone this was this was not a good time okay and I know she won't mind me telling this because we already talked about all of that but it was just kind of a stressful trip because he was still kind of second guessing himself she called she's kind of fussing at me and then this happened dad decides that he needs to use the restroom we're in the middle of nowhere like I said and we finally see a gas station so he gets ready to pull in and a car pulls in behind us and as they're pulling in behind us they lay on the horn and when I say lay on the horn I don't mean they just beat the horn I mean they were like it was really loud and obnoxious so my dad being the person he is he pulls in gets into a parking spot opens the door and he says is there a problem this car that had laid on the horn at him was full of young people i'll leave it at that there are about four young people in this vehicle and the guy that was driving who had laid on the horn said to my dad you need to drive faster that like what I'm sitting in the car and I am like, oh my fucking God. And my dad, like Jason Voorhees in Friday the 13th, kicks his car door open and says, what the fuck did you say, motherfucker? And gets out of the car. Now I'm thinking, holy shit, my dad's gonna get shot. Like I am not recommending doing this. Do not do this. My dad is like, at this point, he was like 60 something years old. He's in his 70s now. Dad, I know you've always had a temper and you've always stood up for yourself and you've always won when you get into fights, but 
you're, you, this dude was young, plus he had a car full of his friends, and you're in your, at this point in your 60s, and, and you had me. <laughs> so, I was like, no, dad, no. I don't know if Jesus himself parted the clouds to look down. I don't know what happened. I know Jesus would want no part of this, so I'm pretty sure he, he did not participate. <laughs> but this dude who had laid on the horn at my dad and told him he needed to drive faster made a beeline for the convenience store. And dad is walking behind him. Now this dude is pretty much running and his friends are in the car going, oh he didn't mean it. He didn't mean anything by it. And my dad is like, Jason, you know in Friday the 13th when anybody is running from Jason, Jason simply walks and still can keep up with you. And that's exactly the scenario that was going on here. So the, the dude runs into the convenience store and my dad is walking behind him. Now I didn't go in the convenience store. I sat in the parking lot with a cell phone with no service looking around like what the fuck. The reason I didn't even get out is because I had taken buns with me. So buns was sitting in my lap and it was summertime. So I was like oh oh god oh, oh my, my god. So I'm like what do I do? I gotta go figure out what's going on. If he's gonna get like shot up in a convenience store I, I gotta I don't know like I didn't know what to do. And I know not to leave my dog in the car but at that point I didn't feel like I had like any other I didn't know what to do. So I closed the door. I'm like, Buns, please, I will be right back. So I run toward the convenience store and I open the door. And my dad is standing in the convenience store with a can of Bush's baked beans in his hand, ready to swing it. And the dude is at the counter saying, this man, I don't know what's going on. This man, I'm like, we got a problem. You might have to call the police. And my dad was like, no, you know what the fucking problem is. Do you have anything else to say? And the dude's like, no, I was just saying, man, just drive faster. And my dad was like, I'm just saying, I'm going to fuck you up. And the guy behind the counter is like, y'all both have to leave. My dad put the beans back on the counter. He's like, yeah, I'm going to leave. He's like, I'm going to use the restroom real quick. I'm just like, can life get any more stressful right now? So I leave out of the convenience store, go get back in the car. On my way back to the car, you know, there were girls in the car and they were like, oh, he was just, you know, he's just got a loud mouth. I was like, whatever, whatever. I go get back in the car, get buns in my lap. My dad comes back to the car, you know, all cocky, lights up a cigarette. And we drive and we go pick up the, the dog from my mom, who was super cute. Her name's Bootsy. But I'm pretty sure we should have named her Beans. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. Please make sure you click the little bell icon down below so it will tell you every time I put up a new video. I do videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays and I also try to put up a weekly vlog on Fridays. So I will see you next time. Have a great day. I love you. Bye. Finally, my mom said, okay, I'm going to stop. I promise I'm going to stop, but I don't want to go anywhere. That's when I finally did speak up and I said, oh, no, no, no. No, you're going somewhere. I've already picked out where you're going. You're going today.